Aerial skiing is an absolute rush. Skiers come down towards the jump at 70 kilometers per hour. The jump you go off is four meters of shaved ice with a top degree of 71 degrees. You fly off into the air at the height of a four story building. You're in the air for three seconds doing a triple twisting triple somersault. The adrenaline is real. It's quite scary and that's what aerial skiers love. At 16 years old, I was jumping on a trampoline near my house. One day a man drove by, he was the ski coach at Mount Buller in a sport of aerial skiing. He thought I'd be great for the sport. He offered me an opportunity and a possibility to join his sport and to try aerial skiing. 10 years later, the man from the trampoline saw me become a world champion in a sport that he offered to me as a 16 year old schoolgirl that had never skied before. I think the first thing is the enthusiasm, the energy to actually want to do something. So that's, that was the first thing about being really interested, but being focused and trying to understand as to what the opportunity was. So it's that energy enthusiasm then came along the organization of being organized of actually wanting to actually make this happen and wanting to do something. So I think if you look at Jackie for the rest of her career and since her career as an athlete into her life, I think those qualities are very much present. Aerial skiing is an impact sport. What goes up must come down and if you don't get that landing right, you will be injured. It's not even a possibility, it's an absolute reality that injury will be there. Me, I had 25 surgeries during my career. I took the biggest risks and I also took the biggest falls. But the way that I handled the recovery and the comeback and the ability to overcome the adversity is what made me a world number one. Recovering from injury is hard, but what I did best was applying my mental attitude to every single injury to make sure that I could come back as the best in the world. After you get injured in aerial skiing, it's important to forget the injury straight away. It's important to forget what happened and why it happened, but more importantly, it's important to look forward. Those that look back are unfocused. Those that look forward can focus on their new target, and that's what I did. Every single time I got injured, I didn't worry about what happened and why it happened, because you can get caught up in that so much that you forget about trying to get yourself uh, feeling fit and healthy again. Recovering from injury takes a lot of energy and thinking about the injury itself and why it happened is a waste of energy. So just thinking about a positive outlook and where you want to go and obviously it's going back to a sport, wanting to be the world number one again, just thinking about a goal and moving yourself forward is the most positive thing you could do. Retiring from sport is very difficult. Knowing when to retire from sport is even harder. But the greatest thing about retiring from sport, it means that you have the ability to take the skills that you learnt from sport, and that's working in a team, working towards a goal, being able to overcome adversity, all of the hardships, all of the victories, all of the things that you achieved, they go into a little toolbox that you can carry through life. When you're in sport, you don't realize that that's such a valuable skill set and toolbox that you can use beyond wearing a ski suit and a helmet. The greatest part about retiring from sport for me is being able to utilize a toolbox that I spent 20 years filling. I now am successful in life because of the things that I've learned through sport. And all of the things that I've learned from sport, I now try to teach people that things that you have from your high school, some things that you've had from your first job or your second job, don't just dismiss them, put them in a toolbox and carry them through life because there's things that you may need.